So today we are going to be playing with the Artix alcohol markers. This was sent to me by KMB Studios. So thank you for that. Wow! I've been practicing and I also did a swatch swatching of all of these but I'm not I would say an expert. I'm not very familiar with how to use alcohol markers so we'll just be playing around. Also got this um, marker pad because I don't think my uh, watercolor pad would cut it. It's going to probably bleed so I bought this marker pad and you can see some of the um, first few <laughs> attempts. So what I like about this, um, aside from the really cute case, this case when you open it up like that, you can um, switch it to do, do this. So there. Ready to be used. So easy. I don't have to buy like a separate case for it. It can just stay here. Awesome, right? So let's get started with some sketching and then let's see what I can make out of all these 80 alcohol markers. always very daunting for me to make a sketch because this is going to be like the, the start of what it is I'm going to make so if I'm not satisfied with how my sketch look I cannot proceed to coloring it or even trying things out so this is the part in which I really um, take the time to make sure I I was able to draw what I want to draw and it looks nice and it's worth it to to use the markers to color it in. Okay, so this is my sketch so far. Um, I made it pretty simple. I'm not sure if I should already ink it or just straight up um, color but I'm leaning towards just straight going for the markers and then let's see how that goes. So I hope this is okay. So what I like about this marker is that it has two two tips. So this is a Artix. I don't know if you can see it. Can you? Does it focus? There. So this is the Artix um, alcohol markers. Um, it has two kinds of tip. One is the broad tip. So this is the broad. And then the other side is the finer, finer tip. So very nice. So usually I use the fine tip, but for large areas, I would recommend using the broad one. And the first thing that I did when I received the markers was actually figure out the skin tone. So I'm looking at this one. There, 313. I think this is the lightest for the skin tone and maybe a bit of this one sure would that work would those two work for skin tone we will find out let's see let's see so in most of my paintings i usually start with the eyes and then from there i'm going to expand outwards to color the other parts of her face. So here I'm using 131 um, color marker, the lightest one that I showed a while ago to put color um, in, her, in her eyes. And then I'm going to use the, I think, number 29 to also put, to, I guess, blend it 
and also using that for her nose. I also have the um, transparent marker which is number zero um, ready because I'm going to use that to I guess blend in. I'm trying to go for a more like subtle watercolor effect so I'm not sure if that is going to work here but we'll see. So here I'm using the number 29 to put more color in the parts that's a little darker in her face and I'm using the transparent or um, I guess colorless marker which is number zero to blend everything on her face. I'm not sure if this is the correct way again to use this but I really wanted something a lot softer so I'm very um, I'm making things a lot lighter in terms of the center of her face and only adding colors um, in parts like her eyes, her eyebrows, her nose, the um, shadowed um, part um, in her hairline and all that so those are the parts I'm just coloring in what I like to note though um, is that the marker pad paper is holding up quite well it takes some time for me to see the actual color that I put in because at first it looks weird like everything is wet and there's like streaks but after a while when they all fade into a flat color then you see what else you need to to add okay so for now this is the skin and right now i'm already struggling as you can see um, i'm trying to make it very very subtle but um, in an attempt to add more color in her face i added this um, cheek blush using a pink marker but um, I realized that it didn't blend uh, so it looks like she has like that red Pikachu color in her face and there's nothing I can do now so I put in the pink marker also in the other cheek so that they will be uniform so I'm kind of hoping that they're gonna blend later on and maybe I can just work with this it can look a little cute so we'll see time I was thinking to myself you know let's just move on um, let's leave the, to the face and move on to her neck and shoulders so that's why I'm using the same um, color palette to um, color in and add a little bit more um, shadow to her her neck I'm not sure if I'm using the same color here but I know I'm gonna be using a really bold color and I don't know if I'm going to I think I regret it I think this is the color that I thought that would make it work but then when I was looking at the camera it looked so yellow, yellow or orange so I'm not sure so let me know if it worked or maybe not I'm not even sure if it's blending I really need more practice when it comes to um, blending the alcohol markers but I think so far after a while when you kind of look at it for quite some time it looks not bad
this time i'm actually pretty happy with how it turns out so it's more of really um just believing that it's going to look right because again um, as i said when you put down the color of the marker it looks really streaky and it doesn't it doesn't seem like it's blending but after a while when you wait for it to dry then you can see um, that it actually blended quite well so I am doing um, now the hair so I decided on a bright yellow color and I'm going to try to um, make it lighter at the top so again when you look at it it looks very very streaky um, but after a while you gotta wait for it to dry you gotta be patient and here I'm trying a different color so that it will look different um, to look lighter um, at the top so again it doesn't look right when it's wet but trust it when it dries then you'll see how well the markers blend all right so the hair is looking great so I'm now moving to paint uh, not painting coloring the flowers and i'm using a brown color here which on hindsight doesn't look like it worked it didn't blend that well with the yellow color of the hair so i suggest if you are using the alcohol markers and you know you have 80 colors in front of you it's best if you already plan out what colors you are already i was just grabbing whatever color i could see that would look well and most of the time it doesn't um, look or complement the colors that I already have so I would suggest you plan out the colors when you paint and when you use your markers when you paint and use your markers you gotta plan out the colors that you'll be using that way you would um, it would look nice and they complement one another
So by now I'm done using the alcohol markers. I just want to um, add the line art by using this thin line pen uh, brush pen I got from Japan. It's almost out of ink, so it's not super black anymore. It's more of a gray color, um, which is just fine. So it's not um, very bold when you use it. So you can see that I'm just adding um, outlines on some parts of the drawing. I'm also going to add a bit more, um, I guess, strokes on the drawing so that it will look, um, I guess, more interesting. So um, my final review for the alcohol markers is that if you're coming from like water-based mediums such as watercolor or gouache, it is going to take some time for you to adjust. But overall, as I'm looking at my drawing while editing this video, I love how it turns out. You also have to be just patient and plan your work. Select the colors at once uh, before you go and um, color your drawing. So um, a lot, the Artex alcohol markers has 80 colors, so that, will, that can get overwhelming. So I suggest that if you're going to use this, you try to um, already select the colors that you'll be using before you get into your, your drawing. So again, thank you KMB Studios PH for sending the Artix alcohol markers for me to try. I love trying new art materials and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using um, the alcohol markers to do more, more illustrations like this in the future. So I hope that everyone that watched this enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel for more artsy videos. Thank you and see you again.